The U.S. Air Force has unveiled its first official rendering of the AGM-181 Long Range Standoff (LRSO) missile, an advanced nuclear cruise missile developed by Raytheon Technologies to succeed the decades-old AGM-86B. While the image offers a visual of the missile's shape and structure, the actual design remains largely classified. The rendering displays a stealth-optimized missile featuring a trapezoidal body, wedge-shaped ends, foldable wings, and a single vertical tail fin located underneath. Interestingly, no air intake is visible, possibly hidden to reduce radar detection or shield-sensitive features. The LRSO is built to strike high-value targets from well outside the reach of enemy air defenses. Its design emphasizes survivability and long-range capabilities, allowing it to operate in contested environments filled with electronic warfare, GPS jamming, and dense anti-air systems. It will be compatible with both the modernized B-52J Stratofortress and the next-generation B-21 Raider, reinforcing the air leg of America's nuclear triad alongside submarine and land-based systems. Raytheon's missile is powered by a Williams F-107-WI-106 turbofan engine, providing subsonic crews and a classified operational range exceeding 2,500 kilometers. Its stealth profile is enhanced through low-emission operation and advanced navigation systems capable of autonomous flight path adjustments. The missile's design also ensures functionality without GPS, preparing it for highly degraded battlefield conditions. The competition to develop the LRSO began in 2017, with both Raytheon and Lockheed Martin receiving $900 million contracts to create prototypes. Lockheed presented the YAGM-180A, while Raytheon offered the YAGM-181. Ultimately, Raytheon secured sole responsibility for continued development in 2020 and entered the engineering and manufacturing development phase under a contract potentially worth $2 billion. Testing accelerated in 2022 with multiple B-52 flights validating key systems, including separation mechanics, navigation, engine function, and in-flight warhead arming procedures. The missile passed its critical design review in March 2023, signaling readiness for production. Armed exclusively with the W-80-4 thermonuclear warhead, an updated version of the W-80-1, the LRSO will offer variable yields of 5 or 150 kilotons. These warheads, refurbished by Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory, are designed to enhance safety and reliability without introducing new explosive power. The W-80-4 is expected to begin production in 2027. While early discussions considered a conventional version of the LRSO, that concept was shelved. Instead, Conventional long-range strikes will be handled by the AGM-158B JASM ER and the future AGM-158D JASM XR. Congress formally removed the requirement for a non-nuclear LRSO variant in 2020. The Air Force plans to purchase 1,087 LRSO missiles, including 67 designated for testing. The milestone decision to begin low-rate production, Milestone C, is scheduled for late FI 2027. Initial deployment is targeted between 2029 and 2030, time to replace the aging AGM-86B fleet, which was originally introduced in the early 1980s and reduced to just 528 units by 2007. The LRSO is a critical component of a larger strategic ecosystem, aligning with the B-21 bomber, satellite networks, command and control systems, and potentially other undisclosed assets. Financially, the program remains on track. As of late 2022, the estimated acquisition cost for 1,020 operational units stands at $16 billion, with life cycle sustainment adding another $7 billion. Individual missile costs have risen slightly, now projected at $13 to $14 million each. Procurement funding is set to increase sharply in coming years, from $67 million in FI 2024 to over $1 billion in FI 2027, peaking at $1.7 billion in FI 2028. Meanwhile, R&D funding has already reached its apex in FI 2023 at nearly $929 million and will gradually decline. To ensure affordability and maintainability over its planned 30-year lifespan, the LRSO features a modular open systems architecture. 
This framework simplifies future upgrades, encourages competitive development, and supports efficient logistics. The Air Force is also leveraging digital engineering to maintain full technical control and drive down costs. Planned activities for FI 2024 include final flight control validations, launch system integration for the B-52 and B-21 platforms, production readiness assessments, and the continued development of support and training systems. Once fully operational, the LRSO will anchor the U.S. nuclear deterrent strategy, ensuring the ability to deliver precise, survivable strikes in a world of evolving threats from Russia, China, and other nuclear adversaries. In replacing the aging cruise missile systems, the AGM-181 LRSO stands as a critical modernization step, reaffirming the U.S. commitment to a credible, flexible, and effective nuclear deterrent.